Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and stupid program lost another part of my recording. So here we go again. This is Let's Play Kikon, guys. Here we go! Battle time, activate. Chance to strike first. Well, I guess that's a plus. Alright, so last time we saw the maze of no return there, from which we returned safely, so I guess that's a complete lie. But, um... Yeah, so that's where we're going right now, because we've discovered the secret. And the secret is... Different colored cars. Apparently, these myth people like to paint their cars a different color. Just because it's good for mileage. Of course, the mileage on a wrecked car is pretty much uh, zero. So, you know. Alright, well, let's go. And hopefully, there's not too many battles. But, uh, there appears to be lots of lag. Let me see if I can fix the lag. Hold on. Alright, that should do it. Laser! Honestly, I wonder how much circuitry you need from a lot full of wrecked cars in order to uh, build a whole bunch of robots like that. And they just keep on coming. For no particular reason, they just do, I guess. They are actively trying to kill us, and that is not a very nice thing to do. More battles! Because you see, the ethical thing to do when you see a Ford Mustang is destroy it. Just take it out of its misery. And completely just go ahead Pull out a friggin' AK-47, fire at will. Alright, so that's another party of bad guys defeated. Let us keep going and encounter again. Seriously, I think the encounter rate is jacked up in this area or something because honestly, I was like, holy hell. Just kind of on a side note, I guess. Um, today I've been playing a nice little Wii game called Baroque. It's really quite interesting. However, I really can't start to explain this game because it's one of those games where you kind of wake up and you don't know anything and you have to basically piece it together. And it plays like a roguelike. And I much enjoy roguelikes. Interesting thing is that unlike most roguelikes, if you die, the game's not over. In fact, the I've heard that part of the uh, 
mechanics of actually finishing the game, figuring everything out. Ah, miss. But the mechanics of actually finishing the game depend on you doing certain things, dying, doing certain other things, dying again. Just keep on going like that. So right now I don't have a whole lot of progress done on that, but uh, it certainly won't stop it from, uh, I mean it certainly won't stop me from uh, recording Let's Plays every day or as much as I possibly humanly can. Water wave. I think I'm gonna have to heal up pretty soon. Got two characters under a thousand HP. That's kind of an interesting discussion on uh, RPGs, though. Is when you create an RPG, are you going to create one that has just rather small amounts of HP and? pretty small attacks, or one that has massive amounts of HP and just devastating attacks. Honestly, how do you decide something like that? I mean, it's two perfectly ethical matters of thinking. It kind of comes down to what you want to do. Like for instance, Final Fantasy is, uh, especially the uh, disc console ones, uh, they have large amounts of HP. As the early ones on uh, Nintendo for instance, have smaller amounts. And, uh, Super Mario RPG, also an example of smaller amounts of HP and smaller attacks. I don't know, I, uh, although I'm a game designer myself, I'm not, uh, I haven't made an RPG yet at this time. I might do so someday, but, uh, as of yet, I've yet to work on one, so... Hmm. I have a crazy idea for a Let's Play. I don't know how well it would work. Because this is a very old game I'm talking about here. Uh, it's called Reaping the Dungeon. Some of you might know about it, but probably most of you don't. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's an old dungeon crawler game. I suppose it could be considered a roguelike in its own effect. But uh, it's quite unique. It uh, basically deals you're on the planet Jupiter and monsters have invaded the caverns that they are uh, mining for, like, whatever various things. Ah, uh, two colors. What happens if I go to brown? Bomb battle! Freaking bum rush. But yeah, so you're in these caverns and basically trying to get rid of the monsters. At one point, you'll go down and find the oxide rifle, uh, which is a very uh, potent weapon, I suppose. 
and uh, eventually you want to go down to the bottom and uh, find the machine which is creating these monsters. It was originally released as shareware. I have the full version though. Oh, it's over here. Oh. Things are over here. Whoa! I found a pot of gold! New bomb, mega elixir, dragon katana, healing potion, all sorts of cool things. Wow. But now we have to start over, so that's what we're gonna do next time on Let's Play Hikan. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you next time.